guys, it's Julia aka The Mug Life. Welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm really glad to have you. I hope that you like, comment, I would love to get to know you. And if you're not brand new, welcome back. I'm really grateful and thankful for your support in my new channel and just having so much fun just creating all these DIYs and showing you and other people my love of creating things and hopefully inspiring you to create some things for your home as well. Today I am posting a DIY painting challenge that is an open collab with two different co-hosts. I'll have their channels linked down below. It's Happily Thriving Heidi, which I love her channels. So they're so motivating, especially all the cleaning um, ideas that she has so I love her go ahead and check her channel out and also Crystal Hansen I just started following her not that long ago but I really enjoyed a lot of her videos and tutorials and she posts a lot on Instagram which is my love I'll have both those channels linked down below and I hope you'll check those videos out and everyone who is in the playlist in this challenge I created my own chalk paint with a really fun bright color I found a coffee table at the thrift store and decided I wanted to make it over to fit more in with my home decor so let's get started I wanted to do a chalk paint on my coffee table and here is my recipe for my DIY chalk paint it is equal parts plaster of Paris to cool water and three parts of paint. So with my recipe, I did one full cup of my latex paint that I got in the teal and I did one third cup of the plaster in Paris and one third cup of cool water. And then I just put it in my mason jar and mixed it really well. Here I am taping off the section that I wanted to do this top of the coffee table has almost like a palette wood style to it. It was pretty rough when I got it from the thrift store, but I really liked the dark color of the wood, so I want to at least have a connection of the legs, which I'm leaving the dark espresso and the top. So I just taped a little stripe right on top, and you'll see how I just go right ahead and paint over that. Now here, <laughs> I'm using all the excess paint from my stir, and I just start right ahead. You want to make sure you do long, even strokes and you have a very good chalk paint brush. This one is from Lowe's. It was $17 or $18. You can also order them. I've seen them on Amazon and even at Home Depot. Just make sure you get one with the natural bristles and you do long, even coats. That helps to cut down on the actual brush strokes that you see. And I do one light coat. I don't like to make it really thick at first. I just like to have an even coat coverage. And while it is still tacky, I actually begin my second layer of paint over top. And as I begin with my second coat, you can see how much coverage that second coat gives. Chalk paint is a very, very easy paint to work with, but a lot of people get frustrated with the strokes. Honestly, if you have a good brush and you make your own, you won't really see the strokes as much as some of the other paints that are on the market. I just love homemade paint because it's so much cheaper. I get a lot more and I get to choose whatever color I want instead of the pre-packaged colors. I'm finished with my second coat, so I begin pulling off my painter's tape. You wanna go against the line, so it just makes a super crisp line. You don't wanna make sure your paint is fully dried before you pull off the paint. Just go ahead and pull it when it's slightly still tacky. And here is my coffee table in my living room. I, if you can't tell, love bright colors. I did clear coat it and it was actually a little bit tacky, but I wanted to bring it inside and see how it would look before it started getting way too muggy and not being able to fully dry. But I brought it inside and let it dry a little bit more, which it probably needs to dry um, even longer since it is so humid. 
and I staged it and I absolutely love it. It's a super fun and bright Valspar color that I chose and it just is something that describes me completely and perfectly. Bright, a little bit modern, a little bit old, and <laughs> a little bit rustic. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on my page and see you next time.